This news is the perfect storm for the anti-fandom channels. It's just ambiguous enough that they can astroturf it and build a narrative around it, which is what they do. Bodemayo, X-Men 97 creator, writer, producer, director, basically the main person attached to everything around this series has been fired right before the series gets released. And what makes this extra sus is the fact that he deleted his main social media outlet, which was Instagram. It was kind of the place he was the most active. He spoke back to fans. He posted updates. He really was pushing hard for the series. And that being deleted means that we will not get his side of the story. And I can almost guarantee you that Disney is not going to release any more information. All they've confirmed to these outlets is that he's been fired. Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, Variety, all the, the trades that we know have confirmed that he has been fired from X-Men 97. Now, he also was attached to Moon Knight series. Um, he's attached to the Blade movie. We don't know what the status of that is because we don't know anything. They're not telling us anything. But it annoys me to no end that these, these studios are just chumming the waters for all of these hate channels and these anti-fan channels. Like they're literally throwing out like chum in the water and pulling the sharks in. This is what they're doing with news like this. Obviously, something major happened behind the scenes because there's no way they fired him now at the 11th hour for the wokeness of the series. However, that's probably the narrative that all of the Chud channels are going to go with, that he was fired because of the woke stuff. I don't think they would fire him for that. He's already worked on two seasons. He's worked on other projects. He's very outspoken. He's been very active on, on Instagram, social media. I don't think they would go, hey, you know what? Right before our show comes out, let's fire the person that has been the face of this series since we announced it. That doesn't make any sense. So outside of that, let me tell you what I think is going on. And again, this is why the news is so bad for the cycle, because we don't know. So I'm going to give a very surface level idea of what I think is actually happening. I think behind the scenes, something went on that they decided was so bad, so egregious, so irreparable that they had to cut ties with Bo. And I don't know what that is, but that is the only thing that makes sense. The idea that Rogue's ass wasn't juicy enough, I don't think they fired him for that. I don't think they fired him because they made a character uh, like Morph non-binary, considering that Morph can shift between shapes that, that doesn't make any sense either. And we don't really know anything else about what's going on with the series, but they're still releasing it. They're still releasing it. You would think that during the creative process, seeing the series completely done, if they were going to let him go, they would have let him go at that point before he worked on other stuff. So something else catastrophically bad must have happened behind the scenes that we are not aware of. And I don't think we're going to get any information about this before the show comes out because they don't want any more bad press. Although it seems here like they're asking for it. <laughs> Here's the deal though. He's not going to be at any of the like events promoting this. So we won't see him promoting it on social media. He won't be doing interviews for it. He won't be doing, I guess if they do any kind of red carpet things, I don't think they will, but if they do any major red carpet things, he won't be there. Any of the parties or anything like that. He will not be doing promotion for the series, which is really fucking weird because he is the person that basically constructed this whole thing. And it also puts cast members in a bad spot because now unless they implicitly state that they don't want questions about this it's very possible they'll get questions about this when they're out promoting the show it's just all around bad this whole situation stinks and as a fan as someone who really loves pretty much everything connected with this x-men 97 you know uh, i don't want to say reboot but revitalization of the series it makes it really annoying for me to know that I have to get online now and listen to a bunch of people claim victory over something that almost certainly has nothing to do with the stuff they were doing. I don't think that Disney and Marvel was looking at social media and was like, hey, these man babies are mad about Rogue's ass. Let's fire the showrunner. Let's fire the person in charge of the project. But that they're going to have you believe that because they're going to... They're, I can paint the picture already. They're going to try and connect this with the Sweet Baby Ink stuff, even though it has nothing to do with that, because of the ESG, the DEI, BlackRock, all this other stuff. They're going to try and make that connection, right? And they're going to say that Disney has decided that they're not woke anymore and that, you know, by season three, we'll have a different show with a different showrunner that's just not woke or whatever. I can already see their narrative forming, 
because it's so predictable. And as a fan, it is so frustrating and so annoying to have to deal with these idiots on social media that are going to run with this ambiguous press release. <sighs> and then, like, it's not even about running defense because I don't know what happened. So I'm not really defending any. I don't know why Bo was fired. They don't know either. Um, so I'm not really running defense for anything. It's just one of those annoying things as a fan where it's like, I want to be hype and excited for this series that's coming out that I really think is going to be good. But Disney, you are making it really, really fucking hard to do that. You're making it really hard to do that with dumb stuff like this. Again, this has to be something major. There has to be something big going on in the background for them to fire someone so important attached to this project at the 11th hour. Leave your theories down below. I'm very curious to what you guys think is happening. Uh, but X-Men 97, Bo DeMaio fired, like, what, less than 14 days? What, what do you have, like, eight, nine days before the show comes out? I... Eric here, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting subscribe, engaging with the like system, and leaving a comment down below. Every single number helps with a smaller channel like myself to increase my outreach to everyone here on YouTube and outside of this platform. Also, if you'd like to support the channel and help keep the lights on in here, you can become a member of the channel, which helps me, again, as a small channel, uh, navigate the system where YouTube doesn't like to promote this kind of content. So if you wanna be a part of the change and be a part of the community, and interact with me and other people that feel the same way as we do, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video.